Hey Scorpio, thank you so much for coming to your monthly uh, reading. Uh, it should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, it can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends um, on which side resonates for you, okay? So throwing that out there. Okay, what's the overall energy for love and romance for Scorpio? Overall energy for love and romance. Ace of Swords. It's interesting because... I feel like there's going to be some conversation that's had, I feel like, between you and somebody, you and your partner, where it's very honest. And it's interesting, Scorpio, because I feel like for you, you're going to be okay, but I think that your partner, like, there's something that's going to be said here or something that's going to be expressed where your person, I feel like, is now the one that's frustrated like, I feel like the, um, the, the script has flipped. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, and I feel like now somebody's worried. Like, somebody's worried about um, not knowing what someone's doing. Like, I feel like for you, Scorpio, you're being very quiet with how you're moving and what you're doing. And I feel like that's making this person nervous. However, I feel like they can still see what you're doing. I don't know if that makes any sense. Let me let me keep going and then I'll, I'll pull it together. Okay. What is um, Scorpio's person of interest? What is, what is their um, energy? It's the moon with the ten of pentacles. So here's what's interesting is I tried to record, or I thought I was recording your reading earlier, and I didn't hit the fucking play button. Anyways, um, these cards came out in the same reading as well, as well as the Ace of Swords. So it's interesting to me that it's still very consistent. Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or even um, Virgo. Some of you may be dealing with the Air Sign as well, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. How does Scorpio feel about their person of interest romantically? How does Scorpio feel about their person of interest romantically? The sun. Okay. And what's the current situation between these two romantically? What's the current situation between these two romantically? Temperance. Okay. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Leo or a Sag. What's the best potential outcome here? Why, why are these always jacked up? I never can get them to like go straight. Drives me insane. I'm so sorry for those of you that are like OCD. My sincerest apologies. Like even the fact that they're not spaced out correctly, I start to like tweak out. All right, let me move. <laughs> What's the best potential outcome here for love and romance for Scorpio and the person of interest romantically? Let your friends help you. Interesting. Listen, Scorpio, I'm not going to be surprised if this month, if your person comes, somebody, okay, first of all, there's a couple of things. One, I wouldn't be surprised if the person that you've been dealing with tries to come back and express how they feel. I also feel, though, that whatever they're saying, for you, it's not enough, and I feel like there's something here, like, you feel like somebody's lying, and I feel like you're over it. Like, you're over the bullshit. You're over what's being said here. I feel like you've had some time to think and really figure out, like, there's something here about you thinking, but then working on yourself or putting your energy into work. And I feel like by you doing so, it's... It's allowing you to leave that toxic energy. There's something here about leaving a toxic energy behind. I don't know if that makes sense. But here is the thing. I do feel like somebody's going to come through, and I do feel like there is going to be an expression of love, okay? That's the first thing. Um, and I feel like this may happen later, so I know we're in the beginning right now. But I do feel like this is coming, 
and it is a past relationship and I feel like it's one where somebody had a level of control here. I feel like um, there was conversations about, you know, a wedding or a marriage, merging finances. I feel like there was some type of really deep heart to heart conversation last month and I feel like that created a level of deception on somebody's end. Somebody finally kind of opened up and sh like you had the ability to see who they were at a core level. And I feel like for some of you guys, that did create a level of separation. But what's weird is I feel like that person may be fucking coming back in. It even could be somebody from your past. But I feel like there's something here this month where you do give a relationship a chance. Like there's something here where you have a conversation with somebody and I do feel like it is a past energy and this person expresses um, how they feel about you and a message of love and, and they tell you like, hey, I'm thinking about you. And, and that makes you feel really, really good. And it makes you feel like, okay, this is something that I can explore. This is something that I can invest in because I feel like up until this point, this person has been relatively quiet or you've been quiet. Also too, what's coming in heavy is the fact that somebody feels, somebody is very frustrated. They're coming into this month very frustrated, feeling like they're not enough. Somebody has a, um, a, a somebody self-sabotages or, or has like a level of self-sabotage as well as a lack of confidence and that's why but also, too, I feel like this same person, the one that's insecure, also doesn't show their hand. It's like because they're insecure, they play a game. And it's almost like you never know what they want or how they want, but that's how they protect themselves. That's what's coming in. Hopefully that shit makes sense. I have to take a sip of coffee to that. I apologize. It's like 4 a.m. Uh, California time. Okay. Scorpio's like, hell no. I would not be awake at that time unless I was going to bed then. Okay. Ace of Swords. So there's a lot of clarity here. What's the clarity on for the overall energy? Love. The lover. Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini. Um, and what you've been waiting for. So Seven of Pentacles, um, for me, is Saturn in Taurus, and I'm going to be honest, I hate the fucking Seven of Pentacles because I'm not a very patient person. However, Scorpio, you definitely are. I feel like you have a lot of clarity this month on what you've been doing thus far to set you up for the future, right? Seven of Pentacles, that's a very organized energy, a very disciplined energy. Like, think of, like, soldiers, right? Like, they, they have a routine, right? There is a routine that happens. However, I feel like with the seven of pentacles, there's a level of um, caution. I also feel to seven of pentacles, usually that means um, that there can be a sort of money source or a money worry or a problem or debt. However, when it pertains to love, I feel like you're realizing Scorpio, maybe what you're lacking when it does come to love. I feel like you've been waiting for something for a period of time, and now you finally have clarity on, what do they have clarity on for what, the, what they've been waiting for? The Four of Cups. I'm going to be honest, and I'm sure there's going to be, like, a bunch of people that hit the dislike button. However, I'm going to keep it 100. I feel like you realize the energy this month is realizing that somebody's invested time into somebody that, honestly they're not going to be enough for you. That's moon and cancer. I'm not saying the person that has a moon and cancer isn't going to be enough. What I'm saying is I feel like there's something coming to a realization, right? That when it comes to love and stability, there's something lacking here, right? This isn't, this isn't a level of abundance. Fuck. I keep making it worse. Sorry. There, there's not a level of abundance here when it, when it comes to love and romance. And I feel like you're realizing that because for you, four of swords, 10 of cups, four of swords, that's, um, I think that's Jupiter and Libra. 
And the thing about Jupiter and Libra is like, you know, I feel like this month is time for you to really sit there and figure out what you want and what makes you happy. What gives you this 10 of cups, Mars and Pisces, but also too, it's attracting, like, I feel like there's just a heavy emphasis here on partnership and what you will accept and what you won't, right? If this person isn't offering enough, or if this person isn't enough, you're having a clear realization on that. And I feel like you're putting your foot down and you're saying enough is enough. Give me what I want or get the fuck out. Like there is an energy here where you are in control. One card here, please, for the overall energy. But I'm telling you, it's almost like a moment where there is clarity on what you're lacking in your life. And it can be financially, but I feel like for you that this person just isn't offering enough emotionally or physically. One card here for the overall energy. Scorpio. It's self-indulgence, but this was reversed. So usually when it's upright, it means like you're focusing on yourself. You're taking time to heal. You're doing shadow work. Also having a level of self-appreciation. The fact that this is reversed, I don't know. Let's put it back and try again. If it's meant to come out, it's going to come out, right? It's like girl talk pops out. Okay. One card here for the overall energy for Scorpio with love and romance. Overall energy. One card, please. Coffee cup. Meeting, having a conversation, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. See, I think for you guys, you take a step back from the whole relationship aspect, and maybe there's part of you that's like, you know, watching to see what they do, but also having a very light energy around it. Having an energy of not being bothered, however, like deep inside at a core level, you guys are watching them like a hawk. Very, very like... There's something here about watching them. Also, too, I feel like, believe it or not, <clears throat> there's something that you need to see or something that you need to hear that's also going to come in um, this month as well. And I feel like for some of you guys, it's going to give you the closure that you need in order for you to move on. And then for others, it's going to be exactly what you wanted. Okay, let's move on since I spent like 13 minutes on the energy. Your partner, moon, ten of pentacles, why is this coming in? Why are you showing me this for this person's energy? The eight of cups reversed. Okay. Um, why is this eight of cups reversed? Because of the queen of wands. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries or a Cancer. I feel like this person has been hiding a lot about their home life, whether or not they're married, whether or not they're in a relationship. I also feel like, too, this person in the past tried to play you like, I'm going to walk away, like, Oh, I don't care. Whatever, you know, whatever, Scorpio, I'm going to go ahead and do me. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to end this. And what's funny is like every time they say that, they circle right back around. They can't leave it behind, right? Eight of Cups. That's Jupiter and Pisces, I think. No, no, no. That's not, Ju that's not Jupiter and Pisces. That's Saturn and Pisces. It's just interesting to me. This person too, um, Saturn and Pisces is somebody also who struggles with addictions or phobias. Um, maybe this person is getting over that. However, here's what's interesting. <clears throat> this is a lot of secrecy about what their home situation is like. A lot of secrecy, what they're doing, how they're moving, when things are dark, when you don't see them, when you don't hear from them. And it's funny because the Queen of Wands is here. How, how does, um, and it can be in regards to a Queen of Wands into um, 
somebody who is, you know, highly attractive, maybe you find this out, or maybe this Queen of Wands is you, let me ask. Um, how does Scorpio feel about this Queen of Wands? Six of Pentacles wanted to come out. I feel like this is the other person, to be honest. Um, yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah, you don't like this Queen of Wands, okay? Um, why are you showing me this Queen of Wands here for this person? Ten of Wands wants to come out. The High Priestess. Okay, Taurus energy, Cancer energy. Here's the thing. I feel like this Queen of Wands is the reason why it's very start and stop, start and stop. You talk a lot and then all of a sudden they pump the brakes, right? <clears throat> I feel like this person definitely hasn't been honest about who this Queen of Wands is and their significance in their life because you do have the Ten of Pentacles here, right? So that's definitely a card of a level of commitment. And because the Eight of Cups is here, it's almost like... They need to walk away from some something, and that somebody may be you. Because what what are they not walking away from? What what is a Scorpio's person of interest? What are they not walking away from here? The King of Pentacles. So um, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio. I also look at this as Scorpio, Leo, or Aquarius, because this is um, kings are very fixed energy. Okay, watch. How does um, how does Scorpio feel about this King of Pentacles? I feel like you're the fucking King of Pentacles. How does Scorpio feel? Two of Cups. Hold on. How does Scorpio feel about this King of Pentacles? How does Scorpio feel about this King of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles. Or this can be your partner. Justice. Three of Pentacles. So. Here's the thing. Let's say the King of Pentacles is your partner, just for the shits and giggles, right? This person isn't walking away from what's best for them. This person, I feel like, is doing what makes them happy. And if keeping you in their life is something that makes them happy, then that's what they're going to do. Even if it hurts everyone else in the process... I feel like because there's such a connection here between the two of you, that's what makes it hard for this person to pull away. Because I feel like this person feels like it's best to walk away. It's, it's doing the right thing or doing the hard thing and leaving it behind almost for the family sense. However, it's like this person can't. Am I right? Can you give me one more card here? Ten of Swords. Yeah, it's like it's like they they can't do it. Because here's the issue. They fixate and they think about you. And then when they think about you, I feel like there's a level here where they get turned on. Then they get all, like, sexually frustrated. And they're in a place where they're thinking about a way to incorporate you into their life. Like, there's something here about that. Because they can't get you out of their mind. It's like they're constantly thinking. They're looking you up. However, there is this Queen of Wands that's just chilling in the background. Can you give me the energy of this Queen of Wands, please? The Three of Swords. Okay. Um, that's Libra. Saturn and Libra. There's a lot of Saturn here. Um, there's a lot of lessons. This person is a lesson. Also, this Queen of Wands knows what's going on, I feel like. And there is a level of fear with, with him or her. Queen of Wands, that can be either a mouth, that, that's a very, it's a feminine type of energy. So for the men that are watching, um, let's say your person, your, your, your um, woman is dealing with another man. This man is coming up as more so of a feminine energy, more so of somebody who's receptive, refined, cautious. They're, they're not somebody that is that, um, or they're the feminine energy, they're not the masculine, right? So this is somebody that likes to sit back and have others kind of come to them, but then also have a level of control. But for whatever reason, this Queen of Wands is fucked up. They keep going back and forth. This back and forth that your person is doing constantly, it's fucking them up. It's, it's become very painful for them because the fact that your partner can't make a decision between the both of you 
that that hurts and also too it's this person is also very concerned about perception and like there's a level of being superficial here Little card here. But here's what's crazy. The overall energy for your partner is twin flame. There's something here about ending a relationship that's no longer serving. And I'm going to be honest. This Ten of Pentacles, the last time I, I pulled cards earlier this morning, it was over here. So what that tells me is this person is thinking, your partner is thinking about ending this situation and walking away from something that's very stable because it's not giving them enough here. And I feel like they're, they're running back towards what is going to make them happy. But I do feel like there's going to be an ending here with this person relatively quick. If not this month, next month, or July for sure. Um, okay, how you feel about this person is the sun. With the queen of swords. I think that this person makes you happy, however... I do think that this person um, has a really hard time making up their mind, and I think that you know that. You can acknowledge that this person makes you happy, but then at the same point in time, you, you still have your guard up when it comes to them. Seven of Wands, that's Mars in um, Leo. It's like you really do have a lot of chemistry with this person, a lot of passion. I think that there's a lot of sexual energy. However, for you right now, how you feel about them is you want to be the one that's in control right now. You don't want to give up that level of power. Also too, I feel like for you, it's like, don't come say shit to me unless you're willing to give me a level of loyalty. If you can't give me loyalty, and you can't make me a level of commitment. Here's the hanged one with the queen of pentacles. I don't want it. Because for you, Scorpio, it's like you're waiting on this solid offer with this queen of pentacles. Because how does Scorpio feel about this queen of pentacles? How does Scorpio feel about this queen of pentacles? Eight of wands. Nine of wands. You've been waiting. It's like you're waiting for this person to kind of like um, handle business. Because for you, there's a lot of things that can happen here. Emperor, that's Scorpio energy or it can be Aries energy. Sag, Libra, Cancer, Leo, Taurus. I feel like this person does make you happy. For some of you guys, you may even have kids with them. However, I think for some reason with this Queen of Swords, there, there are some lies that come. It's hard with the Queen of Swords because they may say one thing, but then their actions are something completely different. And I feel like for you, you're tired of having that talk. It's like now you want them to actually physically do something, physically come in and communicate what they're going to do but then also physically um, taking a level of action, Mercury and Sag. And think about it. That's also too, you being ha still having a level, being optimistic that this person can't let you go, right? It's like, you can go ahead, but at the end of the day, remember judgment with the two of cups, you still love me. Cancer, um, Cancer Venus, right? There's something here about them not being able to let you go, and that's what's causing uh, this level of chaos, I feel like, in their life. Because they want, they, they genuinely want to be with you, and I think it's challenging because... It's challenging because they need to make an offer of love, but I feel like right now, 
it's 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 hard for them because either you're not talking to them seven of swords with the four of wands or it's like you're not paying attention to their offer there's something here seven of swords that's definitely um moon and aquarius Something here about figuring something out. I also feel like there's a level of loneliness too. I don't know why that keeps coming up. Or feeling emotionally blocked or this person is blocking this four of wands just because, you know, it's like they, they, they can't stay in one place. Also a level of self-sabotage, I feel like. One card here, please, for how Scorpio feels romantically about their person of interest. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking of you, yearning, unsure of the future. I do. I get that. I think, like I said, I think that they make you very happy. However, this person has not shown that there's somebody that can be a stable fixture in your life. So if this person is communicating to you, hey, I'm going to do this. Hey, I'm going to do that. I feel like for you right now, you're very guarded when it does come to this person. However, you've not given up hope on the fact that this relationship can actually come forward. But you're watching, right? Now is a period of time, I feel like, for you to watch and see what they do. And I feel like you're seeing if there is a level of permanence here or if this is just something that's in the moment or for the moment. That's what I'm getting. Current situation, temperance, I feel like there's not a lot of talking or there's some type of back and forth here. However, I do feel like somebody is single and somebody is working on themselves. That's Jupiter in Leo. Um, three of Pentacles. There's um, Mars and Capricorn. The situation here is this. Somebody has a level of control in the situation that the other one doesn't. I feel like this has changed. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, King of Wands. I feel like... For those of you guys that are dealing with a Libra, <laughs> Justice with Eight of Pentacles, that you're making this person work now for your attention, right? I feel like the flip, I feel like the script has flipped. I feel like there's a level of control here for you because I feel like you're the King of Wands. With the Wheel of Fortune, there's Sag energy. Things have changed. I feel like... Here's the thing. I feel like for you, because you're refusing to settle, even though you do love this person, you go back and forth. But the situation is this. The situation is you're still doing fine. You're out there. And I feel like you're working on yourself. There's something here where you're putting your energy into work. You're putting your energy into different areas. And you're coming out looking very successful and very confident. I feel like this is you. I don't feel like that is your partner. I also feel like whatever you're doing right now, as far as the situation, everything has turned. And now I feel like this person is now having to work for your attention. It's something here about the scales being balanced, both karmatically as well as um, on like this plane. Like right is right, wrong is wrong. Where is this Wheel of Fortune turning? Towards the Empress. Taurus, Leo, or Taurus, um, Libra, with a chariot. It's what you've been waiting for. Like, I feel like you've gone through a lot with this person, and now you're just like, shit or get off the pot. Like, but there's something here about a sense of forward movement, no longer feeling stuck, no longer feeling blocked. I feel like this person can't take it much longer. One card here for the overall situation with love and romance. Okay, it's the Grim Reaper reverse. Relationship is over, no second chances, uh, growth and transformation. However, it's reversed. One more card here. It's almost like something you said you would never go back to. It's now you're revisiting it. One card here, please. An engagement ring. I feel like here's the thing. I feel like something that you've cut off, it's now coming back, but it's interesting because there is a level of partnership that that's being offered here. And there is a union that happens. 
Yes. Okay. Your outcome is let your friends help you. So aside from this, there's something here that changes. There's something here. There's a sacrifice here that this person makes, I feel like. It's like they can't handle it. Like that's the that's the like word I keep or the sentence I keep hearing is like they can't handle it. They can't handle you being upset with them. They can't handle the idea of you not being with them. Like there's something here to that. Anyways, with that being said, Scorpio, I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Peace.